What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back in here with another Nerdcore reaction for y'all. And y'all see the title. We here with my boy, Aizen Senpai. And this is Rejuvenation Chamber, a DBZ AMV. Yo, now I just want to stay off the record. From the last time I reacted to Aizen. And shout out for him for doing this on his Instagram. Shout out to you, my boy, for tagging me and such. Now, I did make a comment in there saying about he, I refer to him as not saying that he's not the anime weekend anymore. He's more of the anime usher. And in a way, it was respectable of him to do this, but I guess he took a little offense to it, saying that even though he look, likes the compliment because he's saying that's the highest form of a compliment for him he's saying that no he's not that he's just the anime eisen so hey respect recording i'm recording right now Right now, I'll do that later. Okay. Later. I know that that wasn't my mom this time, that was my dad. See, most of the times, y'all see always is now, but either way, like I'm saying, hey, respect to you guys and hey. Your music is your music at the end of the day, so hey, shout out to you, my bro. Glad you kind of straightened me out anyway, but hey, it's all love, bro. Like you said, shout out to you. As long as I didn't offend you in these sorts of way, I'm good, but hey, shout out to you, my boy. Keep on doing what you're doing. So we about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get in the video. Off. I'm sorry if this feels like deja vu And I know it's the I'm sorry that's it for you Girl, I know, look, I know what I put you through I still look in the mirror like, how could you do it? Everybody really wanna fuck you But nobody really fucking loves you And I don't deserve a second chance But if I get it, I One thing I've always noticed with Aizen, right? And the many times when I'm like looking throughout his channel, I be feeling like, and it, like I said, and it's like he posted in this, in this little thing, in his Instagram reel, you would say, I like reel or whatever, of me saying that everything that he, every music that he always drops, you know, and look, I may be paraphrasing Aizen, so cut me some little slack that most of it even though you could really it could be a little bit to the character but it's mostly on his like experience and such and hey so far it's mostly on him because the little times the little one where he say like so many nights have passed just that fast time don't be white but i still take it back Time don't rewind, but I still take it back. That's what Part of you is me, I'm still attached, but your voice is faded from my memory. Don't cap. Mm, your voice is fading away from my memory. No cap. Cause it, and I'm guessing right, and I'm guessing for this whole entire thing, it's like a little relationship-wise thing. And hey, 
if you know sometimes or it's just not even relationship just mostly things that happened to you in the past by certain people Still attached, but your voice is faded from my memory don't count oh. Isaac, you always gonna get a cause it's basically like this with Eisen with him like you've seen other nerdcore artists try to do the R&B join and all and it's the AM the anime R&B you can say right like with Game Boy joins when he did that whole car gate tonight one that was a smooth one right that was just trying to like hell at a little shorty and all now with this one, this is a little bit different because I still like that song from Game Boy Jones. That oh god, tonight, like come on, that one, y'all cannot tell me that ain't some but that's not a butter song. And why you think because of that butterness, Eisen got on a song. Eisen has now a song with Game Boy. But I'm just saying with this one, sorry I thought I was sick. But with this one, it's a little bit different. With this one, he's going for more of like the. The, the like you would say troubles or so that comes with a relationship for each other eternity by forever see I noticed something that we're missing in the real can you just forgive me my friend and that's yours if you want it be by your side in the morning I want to slap my mom sometimes but like I, like I was gonna say before she interrupted me yeah look I want to say this from now on like he said no more cuz it's like this it still would be a like he said it's still a great compliment of him cuz it's for any of the nerdcore artists still a great compliment and all but let's face it at the end of the day we all say that they come we all like to compare some of the nerdcore artists to like, oh, he's like the animated Weekend or the animated Usher or the animated Rick Cross, animated the baby, whatever and so and so, right? But at the end of the day, we need to start. We need to start. We we as nerdcore fans and such, and in the nerdcore community, we gotta stop that. To me, I don't care what anybody thinks. Me. And if you respect me, and if you think the same way I think, then we see that I with me. We gotta stop that, cause with them, this is how they are. This is how they want to do their music. And hell, you going you, if you still want to give them the compliments of that, fine. But you can't just say that with their, when, whenever they do their music, they you would hear like how the baby would be on it and such. You would think like, oh, this how the baby would sound and so and so. No, or any other artist, mainstream artists, was and such. No, mainstream artists are mainstream artists. Nerdcore artists are nerdcore artists. Mainstream music has their type of sound. The nerdcore artists, the nerdcore sound and such is their sound. They have different taste on it. Cause at the end of the day, I could go want to jam to like a the baby or an Eminem or any type of mainstream song, right? But if anyhow I feel like 
nah, I just somehow I just res because I've you've always heard me saying I just resonate with the mainstream that I mean not mainstream the nerdcore sound more often. I mean for goodness sakes, I be jamming that stuff out, jamming the nerdcore songs like on a regular daily basis at this point. <laughs> Sorry for that little rain. So forgive me if I'm feeling out. man I gotta say at the end of the day the man he can always entertain you with some fire ass R&B and pop but Eisen I just want to say this one of my still to this day I feel like two of my favorite songs from you so far the R&B one the R&B ones and pop they still fire don't get it twisted but I'm just saying if you if most of y'all who the, the Humble Squad, y'all know me. I like music that not only wants me to feel it in my soul, but makes you want to dance a little, right? And to this day, the two favorite ones I feel that resonate to it is Black Flash and Flashy from you, Eisen. Because them two, and you gotta agree with me. With if you've you've seen how my energy is. You most and you've seen how I reacted to your black flash. Most of them shits are just too fire to me. Like them, two, them two shits maybe you got the shades for a reason, right? And hey, at the end of the day, bro, keep on doing what you're doing. And to everybody else, if you agree with me, what I said about how we need to stop comparing them to most, to most how most mainstream music are. And like I, I preached before saying. This why and I, and you always gonna hear me say like the main the nerdcore music scene is could be like at the same level or possibly better than how the mainstream is. And if you if you agree with me, cool. If you don't, let me know in the comments below why you thinks why you don't think so, and tell me some reasons why. But either way, shout out to Eisen, bro. You did your thing on this one, man. And y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. It's been your boy, Homo Ziggy, signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. And, well, I want to see, well, you'll see if it does come out, whether or not. But, yeah, like I said, been your boy, Homo Ziggy, signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Let go.